Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. Today I want to share with you an attrition calculator that I created um, which can help you track your daily or weekly consumption of food, whether or not you're at your targets and hopefully help you uh, live a better life. Um, this, this file has a few features. It has the tracking ability and also an ability to check a recipe to see what kind of uh, uh, ingredients are included. So in the check recipe section you can input a food and the portion and you will see what is the uh, quantities of calories, fat, carbs and protein. So how it works, you can put in something, let's say um, baking soda. Okay. And it takes some time to load, and eventually you get the uh, what the volume is for the intake. So it's a one eighth teaspoon or 0.6 grams, and you can put the portion for like for example one teaspoon. If you want one teaspoon, that'd be eight. It's it's built basically on the uh, Office 365 data types over here in data. Uh, there's a food section I'll show you in a second so this is the check recipe part where basically you you can check what the, the total calories is total fat carbs and protein for a certain recipe there's a target sheet where you can key in your daily targets calories fat protein and carbs and the food input which is your main sheet to track your uh, daily activities so you can input a date a meal whether it's breakfast, lunch, a snack, the food itself, the portions, and then here all the, the blue columns are columns that are automatic calculated. These, all of these are coming from the um, data type option of food. Um, the targets are coming from the target sheet, obviously, just a simple connection to here and the Monday of the week is where I'm grouping all the information into a weekly bucket okay so I'm just using the weekday option and um, grouping everything the same Monday so just like before with the check recipe all you need to do if you want to add information is to add let's say uh, beer drank a beer yesterday and I want to see and you see it loaded and for example you see okay so for 30 grams uh, you get this kind of what's nice is that these databases are connected to the web so they, they can you can search for uh, for many things here you don't have to build your own database which is what I would do if I wouldn't have that and that would take a long time the tracker sheet, which is the last sheet, is where just with some s simple uh, pivot tables uh, you can see um, two charts, but of course you can build more of these. It could show you daily calories and daily carbohydrates. There's the two pivot tables over here. Two simple charts, three slicers connected, and you can just change and of course everything will change show me just april show me just a certain week whatever i have show me just the breakfast meals etc etc so you can really build whatever you want to see based on the data so how is this built I'll show you real quick it's very easy actually you key in a food you got like a, a header for food, you say apple, for example. And now you highlight this to be food. And you see this logo over here, means it's connected. This logo gives you the ability to start adding all sorts of information from the web. You see, a lot of things, much more than what I put. 
what I keep entered is the calories from fat and the fat total whatever and to see the e, the quantity you have a um, consumed description okay and of course you can set it up as a table and then when you add things um, it will appear this way and what I did on top so this, so this is the main the main thing clicking on data and creating an entity called food as you see there are much more things here that you can explore and I'm plan to do so but uh, I'm using also this to give you some more flexibility you can also write here let's say uh, three mangoes and it will if I write three mango you see it gave me three items but I just felt it was easier to have another column with the portions okay and here I used their function and just multiplied by the table so you see I have added like a portion and I said okay had this multiply by this and this just gave me the right answer sorry not this one calories okay and if I change it to two so it changes of course so this is how I built this whole thing um, that's the all of these over here the targets you saw the Monday of the week just using the weekday and uh, this always gives you the, fir the, the first day of the week um, that's pretty much it so the tracker is very simple just two pivot tables that are connected to this table and these two tables are connected to the charts and three slicers on top over here if you're not familiar with slicers very useful for pivot tables you can just add a slicer this way and pivot table analyze insert slicer and basically it allows you to filter pivot tables very quickly so you see it changes all the information and you can connect slicers to more than one pivot table assuming they are um, on the same database by right clicking the slicer report connections and then check boxing all the pivot tables that you want this way when I click the slicer both of these pivot tables change and both of the charts change so that's it if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share with others have a good one